Hi, I'm Bert Salazar, and we are here in Master Electrician's Review Notes. Learn basic electrical principles and electrical code common questions and some simple electrical calculation commonly given in licensure examination. If you are interested to always get updated, you can watch future videos if you subscribe and hit the notification bell or you can like us on Facebook. To maximize the use of technology available to us, this Master Electrician online review is associated with the use of Moodle app. The app will assist you in your licensure examination review goal. There are thousands of objective questions with answers which will automatically quiz you to build your stock knowledge. You can take exam many times and monitor your performance, but only paid online reviewer can access the site. Don't worry, you can freely watch these review notes today and learn something that add up to your online review goal. Okay, let's proceed. Let us review some of the principles of series circuit and parallel circuit. In Master Electrician's licensure examination, common question of logic is related to series circuit and parallel circuit principles. If you have a strong understanding of it, surely related question will appear in front of you without difficulty to answer. Let's review it now. Series circuit is defined as having one path in which the current flow. That is the keyword here, one path in which the current flow. Like what you see in the figure, lahat ng resistor magkakakabit sa isang path. The first principle sa series circuit is all electrical component shares the same current in the circuit. With that principle, we can say that the total current I equals I1 equals I2 equals I3 and so on. This principle is very useful. Please put it into your memory. The second principle sa series circuit is the voltage of the circuit is equal to the sum of all the voltage drop in its electrical component. We can say that the total voltage B is equal to B1 plus B2 plus B3 and so on. And the third principle of series circuit is the total resistance of the circuit is equal to the sum of all the resistances or R total is equal to R1 plus R2 plus R3 and so on. Those are the common principles of series circuit na makikita nyo yan na kalimitan kasama sa licensure examination. Tandaan nyo lang kahit paikot-ikutin ang tanong, Sigurado, makikita mo ang tamang sagot kung alam mo ang principle ng series circuit. Isa pa na laging nyo may encounter sa Master Electrician's exam is all about the principles of parallel circuit. Ano nga ba yung summary ng principles of parallel circuit? Parallel circuit is defined as having parallel path in which the current divides its flow. Like what you can see in the figure, the current divides in its branches. The keyword here is, has two or more parallel paths in which the flow of current is divided. The first principle o ang unang principle sa parallel circuit is all electrical components in parallel path has the same voltage in the circuit. We can say that the total voltage B is equal to B1, equals to B2, equals to B3, and so on. And the second principle in parallel circuit is all the current through each path is equal to the total current flow from the source. We can say that the total current IP is equal to I1 plus I2 plus I3 and so on. And the third principle of parallel circuit is about its connected resistance of or load and the reciprocal total resistance in parallel is equal to the sum of all the reciprocals of all the individual resistances that is 1 over RT is equals to 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 plus 1 over R3 and so on even though you find the principle so simple when question was formulated in the licensure examination logic and practical application was used. You will find the question difficult to answer. However, if you remember the principles well, 
it will guide you to answer all questions related to it. Okay, in the next video, we will discuss the principles of Ohm's Law and its related formulas that is commonly asked in the licensure examination. Take more review in our objective type question or calculation problem in our online review program app. Once you learn seriously the topic we have discussed, the rest of the exam will be easy because you have a lot of tools to use. See you in the next review notes. For now, you can subscribe in this channel to keep you updated or you can visit my Facebook page and like us to support the Master Electrician's Review. For those interested in another resources, fractalknowledge.com offered online review app. The app will assist you in your review goal. There are tons of questions and answers to build your stock knowledge. The Moodle app is available in iOS for iPhone and Play Store for Android. However, you need to connect to fractalmodel.cloud.com to enter the site. A paid enrollment key is needed to access the resource material in the online review. Please contact and message the following person if you are interested to support your goal to review the Master Electrician's examination. See you there!